In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your very first autoresponder within ListWire. So one thing to keep in mind, when you first set up your account, you're going to have what's called a master account that you initially have when you sign up. You could work from that, but I would recommend creating a new autoresponder for each of your different lists that you have. That way you know who's on which list. So depending on what free offer you're giving away, I would have a list created for that. If you're creating an offer for a product because you want to get your buyers onto an email list, I would create a separate list for that. So I'm going to show you an example of creating a list and it's going to apply whether you're creating a free offer or getting people onto a buyer's list. So what you're going to do is go on the left hand side when you're logged into ListWire, click on manage autoresponder. So I'm going to choose click here to add a new autoresponder. Click here to add a new autoresponder. And I'm going to call this, let's just pretend that we're doing our golf product. So I'm going to call this golf swing course because pe these are going to be people that bought this product. And I'm going to call this, you know, golf swing course buyers. That way they know what the autoresponder is if they try to opt out of that. And you want to try and keep that within 50 characters. You don't want to go too long on that. Um, and then I just keep the default here. No, do not allow replication. That's more for the advanced settings. So you can keep that alone. And the replication password would stay blank as well. Once you do that, you're going to be brought to a page after you've successfully created your list. And it's going to say, you've successfully added a new autoresponder. And it's going to tell you a little bit more about it. And uh, it's going to tell you just a few other things to go over with that account. So next thing you're going to want to do is create a follow-up message. So a follow-up message for that list. So I'm going to go in here to manage this autoresponder first. So I'm going to choose manage autoresponders and I want to select a golf swing course and we're going to switch over to that because that's the one we're going to be working from. So I'm going to go to manage autoresponders, make sure I select that course, and then choose click here to switch to that selected autoresponder. Alternatively, if I want to manage this particular autoresponder, which is for people that purchased my golf swing course, that's what we're going to pretend, you would use the drop down menu to go to that option. So I'm going to come over here again to messages and follow up messages. and it'll take just a moment. So this is where we're going to put in our very first message that people are going to receive after they opt in to our email list. And these are going to be the buyers. So subject tags, you could choose to include these if you want. Um, so like let's say you want to include first name or full name for example. You would just choose, you know, insert first name, thank you for signing up or thank you for your business since this is people that purchased and if it's a free report you could say hey thank you for signing up so let's just go here put in a, uh, a tag here so let's say first name so hello first name so that's gonna automatically insert whatever their name is it's automatically going to be inserted in there so hello first name uh, thank you for purchasing our golf swing improvement course and likewise you could put in thank you for signing up for a free report thank you for getting involved in our golf swing improvement course you can choose what you want to put in here we hope we hope you have great success as you work hard to improve your golf game one other thing that may help you is this new guide I just saw called How to Break 80, which How to Break 80 is a very popular product on ClickBank in the past that teaches people how to you know, improve their golf swing. And so right there in my follow-up, I'm actually pre-selling them on another offer because they've 
opted in for a golf product or they purchased a golf product. So I know they're very interested in improving their golf game. So I'm going to give them some additional tips on how to do that. Now, necessarily, you don't want to immediately start selling right away, but sometimes it makes sense where if they've just purchased something, they're kind of in that buying mood. So they are interested. So you only want to recommend high quality products. You could also just introduce yourself, who you are, what they can expect from you to kind of build up that relationship. And then you can email them later. So it's completely up to you and so you know you can check it out here so I'm just giving an example you would put in uh, www dot your dot how to break 80.com and again of course yours would be your affiliate link please let me know if you need anything else sincerely Jacob Jones and then you can choose the message format. You could do a plain text, HTML based, or you could do a combination. I typically just uh, plain text is going to be the easiest way to go. And message interval set at zero, that means it's going to go out immediately. So click here to save changes to this message. And we'll give that one just a moment. So we'll let that do its thing and save. Okay, so then you should see a confirmation page once it went through. And it looks like it's got a duplicate interval of zero. So um, let's come down here. Oh, because we were trying to create a, another message here. So you can come back here to follow up messages and you could add in a second message. So, um, you know, how are you doing and this could just be a simple follow-up email to them that you could send out you know in interval number two or interval number one which would go out like a day after the next one so then we just come down here click here to save changes and then we're on to the next part of the process. So you could actually create multiple follow-up messages. And what that does, that what that enables you to do is to queue up several emails. You could queue up four or five days worth of emails, a week's worth of emails. So automatically on autopilot, once they join your list, they're going to be drip fed content that you can provide to them. You could send them over to your blog or free website. You could give them more information on who you are to kind of build up your credibility. You could be promoting relevant products. And these are automatically set to go out automatically after they sign up. So they're going to get this message first, which is welcoming them, thanking them for their business or thanking them for signing up. The second one's a little bit about, you know, how are you doing? What can I help you with? You could send them a survey there to see exactly what kind of products you could recommend them. All kinds of things you can do here. Now, I would recommend having more than two follow-ups. I just have this in here for an example, uh, but that's the, the part of the process here is you want to have follow-up messages. So we'll go ahead and pause this video and we'll go on and do another video which is going to then show you how to set up your web form so then that way you have a web form link that you can actually put on to your website so when people buy your products they can be taken to this page and get onto your email list so you can get them access to the product or you can actually just you know get their information if they're buyers you can also have them sign up to your email list if you're getting them on for free service as well.